Well, I got this uh, XJ12 Series 2 back again. Everything's alright, but I believe the ignition amplifier is crapping out. So, the, if you remember those problems I was having earlier, when it's cold, well, it's back again. So, I'm going to take the gamble and put a new amplifier in it. But I'm just going to start it now and see how bad it runs. It should only run on 10 cylinders when it's cold. Yep, 10 cylinders. And almost 8. I'm going to do the 12 volt jumper test and just make sure it's the same problem. Not running very well. Running beautiful. Well, here's the V12 again. Uh, there's an ignition module at the front, and here's another one which I've wired into the engine and given it a good air. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, let's see what happens. I just plug the original one back in just for the fun of it. Let's see what happens. Runs like shit. There we go, the new module's all in. Now, as you see, I have to retune it. It's running pretty rich. It used to have bad spark, obviously. So, we have to tune to that. Now I've got to play. Damn it! I want to test drive this, but I have to move this, then that Jag, and the Toyota just to get it out. That really sucks. I think it's this day where I was just walking around the car. All of a sudden I see this inside the Daewoo. <laughs> Strange little creature. Must have got in through this window. Hello kitty. This Daewoo goes in about 10 minutes, so I'm happy about that. Um, within that 10 minutes, I'm going to put this in. That's the flange gasket that was worn out. I'm here at the V12 again. This time I'm doing something different. As you can see, it's missing a part or two. And down here. All I was intending on doing was front discs and pads and wheel bearings. It's turned out to be rebuild front calipers because they were seized. Do the wheel bearings and the stub axles, because the bearings have been spinning on them, which I'll show you in a minute. 
and ball joints because here, here's a good example of a nice original ball joint. Look at that. Get that. It's pretty shag. Yeah, look at the star back Look at that. Look at that wear. Bearing's been spinning on it. Uh, I'll try and point. We're looking at that area. In that area. This one's good. so they need replacing. And it's got little rust spots below the seal point, so I'll tear the seal. So I've got it all in pieces at the moment. And I'm gonna I've already got the stub axles and everything. I'll press them in tomorrow and put it all together. It's good fun. Oh we're back at the V twelve now. I seem to have a bit of a cold, so excuse my voice. Uh, well, it runs absolutely perfect from cold now. This is one problem. Now and again, it's a total whore to get started. So I've tracked that down to the actual ballast resistor. Uh, it's not putting enough voltage through at crank, and so there's not enough spark at crank. So I'm having trouble finding it a, a genuine one. So I might just make my own system. We'll see what happens in the next few days. I've still got to put the front together and do everything. Um, the taco worked for about five minutes with the new unit in it, and then the taco failed. It couldn't handle a decent pulp. That thing's pretty screwed anyway. And the speedo sticks at 100. Uh, a few other crappy things. But yeah. It'll be like good again now. So it was about six months or more ago that I did all the hoses and everything. So, uh, well, she'll be there one day. Oh yeah, the day we broke down again. Um, so yeah, I put a new distributor in it this time. And I think it's fixed it this time. So this little winding in there has got a, you know, an open circuit occasionally. Or doesn't put the right reading out. So... Yeah, quite fascinating. <laughs>